Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the latest interview questions that were asked in this company. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. But before we get started, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this questions and his experience so that it can be of help to others who are preparing. So the first question, uh, I think, you know, first two questions are a little critical here. If you are able to answer this, I think your state of mind in interview would be intact. If you fail this, I think there are chances you might commit mistakes in the next questions that were asked. So I think first question is little tricky. You need to, you know, pen down or, you know, you need to give a try then error method to fix it. Uh, I doubt how many of you will be able to do it in a single uh, method or a single, uh, single step. Okay, how to find the remaining days? I think we have solved this in our channel earlier, but I'm trying to do it again. So here uh, we can use a simple calculation. Uh, there are you know n approaches that we can do. Okay, so first is you can find out uh, uh, what is the current date and uh, what is the last day of the month and uh, doing a minus between them. That is one approach, okay? Or, you know, what we can do is we can simply write a single calculation uh, called as days in a month. So something like this you can write, okay? So what I am trying to do is trying to write multiple calculation within one syntax. All I'm doing is I'm trying to find out today's date here and I'm subtracting that. But I'm also trying to find out or go to my first day of the next month and subtracting my today from there. Simple. A minus B I'm doing. So if you observe here, this date trunk will take me to the first day of the month. Right? So if I run only this, okay, if I run only this, It will give me today's date. So if I try to drop it here, you see, uh, it should give me today's date. I mean, the first day of the month, right? Date trunk we are doing of month. So it is doing. But what am I doing here? Date add of month. So which means I'm adding one month to my current uh, date, whatever we got from this, which means it will go next month, first date. One eleven we will get. So if I execute, only this, only this part, we should get 111 2024. Now, to this date, I am simply subtracting my today's date. That's it. Okay. So, if I bring in that, it should give me date. Okay, so that is one approach. So if you have any alternate approach, you can comment down in the comment section. Let me see if you know any other approaches that are easier than this. I am sure there are you know many approaches to this. So then next question was again a tricky question. On a VIS, we have state-wise sales. How to see each category-wise sales on a VIS? Okay, so uh, it depends on how you are understanding the question, this type of question in the interview. So I am thinking that, you know, maybe user want to see sales for category here for each state right so what i'm trying to do is i am trying to approach this using a parameter action so it is up to you how you are or how you want to solve this in the interview okay but you know you can give this approach a thought whenever you get this type of questions so i am creating an empty parameter first thing okay because on the click i want to show category by sales for that uh, state okay so that is why empty parameter i am writing and i'm selecting string as my data type and i want all values but by default i'm not passing anything click okay now if you observe if i click on show parameter i do not have any value here it is blank now i'm writing a calculated field okay p empty parameter if my empty parameter is equal to state, 
okay if the value in this is equal to state then you give me category okay otherwise just give me state now what will happen by default when you're not selecting anything it will give me state wise cells that is what we need right but if i'm selecting anything that value will be passed on to this and then it will give me category okay but we need to do it using parameter action simple okay so remember that so i've created a calculated field i've written a calculation i am using it in view now see here because i'm not passing anything because it is null it is giving me parameter uh state value okay we are clear till here now i'm going to actions here okay let us remove this i'm adding an action change parameter value my target parameter is this empty parameter source of field is this okay on select i want click okay and okay now observe how this is working so when i select this empty parameter and uh, this california here or here wherever it should give me category for that particular state see here see for that california it is giving me category wise sales if i select new work it is giving me this again if i at all i want to go back i can click on that and it will give take me back to my state level so see here furniture yes what is the state name texas if i click back again i'll get okay that is how it works so you can give him this approach or it, if he has given you the screen and asked you to do this is something that you can do using parameter actions so this is just a question asked to check how well you are aware about the concepts so in the same situation you can also try using set actions so do comment me in the comment section if you are able to solve this using set actions okay now next is how many types of LODs are there. So we all know you can talk about fixed LOD here. We can talk about include. We can talk about exclude and a table scope LOD. And in this, we can also talk, you know, how we can write syntaxes. You can talk about nested LODs. So do talk about nested LODs only if you have used in the project. Otherwise, don't talk about this because chances are that he might ask you to write a syntax on that. Next is what is the use of relationships and joins in tab two? See, relationships are modern methods of joining you know data from multiple tables joins allow us to specify the join type join condition how we want to see the data from multiple tables when we are connecting whereas relationship does not work that way okay so this will come into picture or when you are using a particular field from your secondary uh, data source that is when the join will actually happen otherwise they will not happen okay so that is something that you can explain in the interview okay so they are very flexible compared to joins here so what is difference between parameter and filter next question filters is used for restricting the data whereas parameter is used to pass the value see here what did we learn in this case what are we doing? We are passing a value to a field here, or it can be, you know, uh, interactivity. We can say, you know, we are passing a value or we are making our view more interactive. We are finding out values. We are making dynamic calculations using parameters, but not filters are standard. Like, you know, we, that does not allow us to be, you know pass values at the runtime they are static okay if we want to restrict something that is that that's it okay it's not like you know based on your interactivity or dynamic city something is happening you know it has to be a parameter concept if at all you want to increase your interactivity you know uh, and all but otherwise it is filters okay what is parameter actions i think this now we have explained any value that you want to change or if you want to change a value of the parameter through actions, then it is called as parameter actions. Now, 
in the beginning when we created a parameter we kept that as blank right but when we wrote calculations basing on this my california and all value is being passed on to that now basing on that basing on the calculations that you have written value is being passed to it and it is reacting so that is your parameter action okay now two sql questions were asked or the uh, the sub subscriber remember this difference between having and where very common questions one works uh, at a row level without a group by clause and having works on group by okay so how to handle duplicates we can use a distinct to handle duplicates in the sql or we have queries to you know remove duplicates and all so that we can try in this case so this were the questions that were asked recently and the interview happened last week i hope you know you have learned something new from this video if it does don't forget to you know share your valuable feedback see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day